I'll show you what my little task is here. My rain gear, right? See how muddy my rain gear is? All right. I haven't washed my rain gear for a while. It's probably been, well, I think I've washed this one once in the last couple years. And I usually wash this one every few months, every, about, about once, once every few hunts. But somebody was saying, well, why don't you just carry a, a rag around with you on your detector or in your bag or something? Highly impractical, man. Highly impractical to carry a rag around with you when you're hunting in the mud like I do, right? Pour just a little bit of soap in there, right? I don't want to put too much soap in there. I'm not trying to wash the gear. I'm trying to rinse it off, right? This rain gear is almost $600, right? So I don't really want to destroy it by putting it inside of a inside of the washing machine, right? Do you guys need a, a washing machine? If you got guys washing machine broke, I've washed a lot of clothes this way with this right here, right? It's just a mop handle. Uh, it's the kind that you slide over the mop in there. I use this. I've used this for quite a few years. Or, you know, this is how they used to wash clothes in the old days, right? Basically a plunger, you know, toilet plunger. And, but this works really good because it's aerated right here, right? And it's smaller than a plung, plunger, and it really seems to agitate and work the clothes a lot better. You know, it'll do pants, shirts, underwear. Underwear stains, right? <laughs> so I I wash this one more often because my top rain gear, um, my top rain gear I sweat in, right? I hunt every day, so this one stinks all the time, right? It stinks, right? It stinks. So I'll just put it in there, give it a little love, right? I'm not trying to wash it. I'm not trying to wash it. I'm just trying to rinse it off, right? Trying to make it not smell anymore, right? <laughs> if you guys hunt every day like me and I wear my rain gear every day, right? It begins to smell, right? And it's Gore-Tex, so Gore-Tex you don't want to put in the washing machine, right? So I'm agitating it right here, right? The camera might be shaking around, but this is very effective, very effective at cleaning clothes, right? Only takes a minute, right? Those new washing machines, those HE washing machines are just complete junk, right? I go and try to put um, clothes in the washer downstairs in my basement and it takes an hour and a half to freaking do one load. I can do a load in about 20 minutes right here and it'll come out way cleaner, way cleaner, man. All right? That one's done. All right. I'll go for this one, make sure nothing's in my pocket here, right? Have you ever looked at my gloves when I'm hunting when it's raining out? It rains here almost every day in the wintertime. And it's like this, right? I'm I'm not hunting in sand, so you know, I can't really carry a rag around with me. Not very practical. Because the rag would look like that in about five minutes, right? Go like this, just rinse it off, right? See, it agitates it. It brings it up to the surface, you know. Unlike the wash the newer washing machines that don't work worth a crap, right? I'm not trying to wash it, right? And the worst thing for Gore-Tex is the dryer, right? This stuff dries off really fast. That's why I got black rain gear. So when I'm out in the field, the rain gear dries off quicker, right? And I put just a little bit too much soap in there, but. you ever looked at my gloves when I'm hunting it's like peanut butter on my gloves and if I were to touch a rag that was on my detector that peanut butter would be all over that rag because it's raining out right when I'm hunting right I can't keep anything clean when I'm hunting in the mud right when it's raining out right? I don't hunt in the sand 
a lot of people probably never hunted in the mud before so right there just like that all ready to go right then i'll just rinse them off right see how they're all inside out now see that that's what that washer does it really agitates really good I've been using this for a long time, man. When I was homeless for years, I used this right here, all right? I used this. This has special meaning to me and I just kept it throughout the years, all right? I was homeless for a while, for three years, so. Right, look at that, look at that. You know, I don't want to ruin this rain gear by sticking in the washing machine because, like I said, they're $550 for this rain gear. Almost $600 for this rain gear. So we'll just rinse it off here. Go out to the front. Go out to the front there and just rinse it off, right? Because it's Gore-Tex. It's waterproof. This, uh, this, this soap is not going to penetrate into the fabric, you know? So we'll just rinse it off here. Like this, just rinse it off. Right. Right. Go like that. Then they'll look brand new, right? I don't use the cheap, cheap rain gear here because I've used cheap rain gear many times before. I have worn out a lot of sets of rain gear, and this rain gear right here, guaranteed for life, man. If you treat them well, right? If you put them in the washing machine and, and dry it one time, they'll never be the same. They will always leak. I've never had a wet pair of gloves or I've never had a wet pair of clothes underneath this rain gear. There's a reason why it's $600, right? There's a reason why it's 600 bucks because it's lightweight, very durable, very effective at keeping the water away from your clothes, right? Just like that, All right? I've had this set of rain gear for three years. Actually, this, this set I've had, this bottom set I've had for four years. These bibs, these bibs here are about 300 bucks and the coat is about 250, 260 bucks. Actually, I think the bibs are a little bit more now since I, since when I bought them, right? Rain gear's expensive, but when you buy the really, the best, the best rain gear, the stuff is lightweight, right? This stuff is lightweight and I don't sweat in it, right? Cause it's Gore-Tex or I do sweat in it, but the Gore-Tex lets that sweat out you know, if you've ever used rain gear before and you work for about half an hour and you just, you're dripping sweat and you, all your clothes are wet underneath, it's not because it's leaking, it's because of the sweat that is not able to be released from that fabric, right? This fabric, that sweat is released, right? It doesn't let the water in, but it lets the sweat out. That's why you're wet all the time when you use vinyl or polypropylene rain gear <clears throat> or that cheap rain gear that falls apart this stuff is super durable man i mean i use it so much these these threads are so thick right the reason why it's so expensive and they're, these are actually made in my city right i had actually had a set of this rain gear the bibs the bibs were like about six hundred dollars and those bibs lasted me 20 18 years and I finally had to give up the ghost because I was having them sent back in for the zippers being replaced I had some zippers on the sides there and they had some big pockets up here I used them for construction I worked in mining for quite a few years and they worked really good until I just couldn't repair them anymore they wouldn't they wouldn't warranty them anymore <clears throat> but they had a lifetime guarantee T on that product but they don't carry that product anymore they carry this stuff here 
a lot more light lighter weight but you know just let them sit out on the back patio for a couple few minutes and let them drip dry and i'll take them inside and they'll dry off really quick inside all right well, that's how i wash my rain gear i only do it every once in a while And I, I'm not going to bother doing my hood, right? My hood's... Actually, I'll do my hood, too. You can watch. Right. It agitates it, right? If I were to use a, use a plunger, it doesn't have those holes on the side there. And a plunger, it, it, it doesn't aerate it, right? Listen to it. See the aerating action, right? That's what makes it... That's what makes it stir up, right? And this is the best clothes washing utensil ever, man. Ever, ever. All right. And I'll just go rinse it off here. Over there. Rinse it off. I only do this so it doesn't make my clothes stink, right? I don't want stinky clothes. Because right. my coat really stunk really bad. These things just don't fall apart, man. Like the cheap stuff does, right? I don't like cheap stuff. If a detector starts breaking on me, I'm just not going to use it. If I have rain gear that starts ripping and shredding on me, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to buy something the best, right? This watershed gear is the best you can buy, all right? The best you can buy. Super lightweight, super durable. Dries off in minutes, right? If I put this out in the sun for just a few minutes, if it were sunny out, it would dry just in a couple minutes, all right? That's why I got black, so it dries off fast. Right. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs>